Hi and welcome to the Go to Grow podcast with your fellow nature lovers at orchardsnearme.com. Every week we share a passion for living life outdoors. Whether it's easy mindful exercises or foraging for foods we love, we will share all of our experiences. This week we will start our adventure into mindful activities that you can do anywhere in the world. For the purpose of today's podcast, we are going to concentrate on easy exercises that you can try out anywhere you feel like it. Mindfulness has its roots in Buddhism, but most religions include some type of prayer or meditation that can shift your thoughts away from stressful situations and allow you to appreciate living in the moment. Mindful activities can help you become more fully engaged in daily life. You are encouraged to savour the simple pleasures of being in the moment. As fruit and foraging enthusiasts, we like how mindfulness focuses on forming deeper connections as well as improving both physical and mental well-being. This week we will take you through a few easy mindful exercises that you can practice outdoors. So here's our first activity. Mindful breathing. Try mindful breathing for three minutes. It sounds like a short amount of time, but with our habit of distraction, this short burst of mindfulness is difficult for some. Take your time. Pick a place that you feel comfortable. I like to go into the forest or under a tree in a nearby park. Now stand still, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Focus your attention on the act of breathing, letting all other thoughts subside. If you feel you need to, you can start by counting the breaths you take, but don't let the counting take over. Do this a few times a week and you'll be so much more attentive to the nature around you. Let go of your thoughts, let go of things you have to do later today or pending projects that need your attention. Simply let thoughts rise and fall of their own accord and be at one with your breath. The second activity is mindful observation. This is a simple but effective exercise for all nature lovers. This one is perfect for those who love to look around while outdoors. It is all about appreciating what's around you. Choose a flower, a plant, a tree or any natural thing. Allow yourself to visually explore this object and examine it from root to tip. Think about its position, its movement and its place in the environment. Easy. Our next activity is mindful immersion. Instead of treating an activity as a task, enjoy each moment of the experience. This is a lovely mindful activity to try outdoors. So when you go for a walk, concentrate on each step you take. Become absorbed in the motion, putting one foot in front of the other. Once you get into a rhythm and focus on each step, you will feel like you are taking gigantic leaps and enjoy each step a little more. The next activity is mindful listening. This is another one that is great when you are living life outdoors. This exercise is designed to help you listen carefully. You pick a song that you've never heard of, Pick a quiet place, play the music and allow yourself to discover the new sounds, lyrics, instruments and rhythm. Leave any music preferences aside and listen intently to this new composition. Close your eyes and put on your headphones. Try not to get drawn into judging the music by its genre, title or artist before it has begun. Allow yourself to explore every aspect of the song. Explore the song by listening to the dynamics of each instrument. Separate the sounds in your mind and analyse each one. Hone in on the vocals and listen to the voice as it raises up and down. And last but not least is mindful appreciation. If you can do this exercise once a week, you will feel more fulfilled. We might not realise it, but the majority of things and people in our lives go unappreciated and even unnoticed. On a daily basis, we pass by people, interact with people and pass over objects that make our world a better place. For this exercise, you need to appreciate three things per day that would usually be undervalued. Maybe it's the tree that grows the fruit you eat. Maybe it's the smell of the flowers. Or maybe it's an old pair of socks that never lets you down. Write down these objects or people at the end of each day and acknowledge how your life is better with them in it. Try practice one of these activities the next time you head out for a foraging or fruit excursion. 
and let us know how you get on. For more information about any of our tours, please visit orchardsnearme.com or follow the Go to Grow hashtag. We hope to see you out in the orchards of Europe soon.